Everybody tap the bye-bye. Tap it. Congratulations to Peyton's new apartment. If you're here, that means you're here for a reason. Good vibes, good energy, good vibrations, high vibrations. We about to Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Payton and today I'm back with another video. As y'all have read about the title, I'm honestly really excited to bring you guys this moving out vlog. I'm actually about to be moving to an apartment by myself for the first time. So that's to me. I know some of y'all are probably wondering, where am I going? Did I already get my apartment? To answer any questions that y'all might be thinking, I already got my apartment. I haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna go see it tomorrow. So I'm gonna be doing an empty apartment tour, packing. So I'm gonna pack my stuff, do an empty apartment tour, and then I'm gonna be doing a moving in series, a shopping for furniture series. I'm actually gonna get started packing right now. I'm gonna start with my bathroom. Today is Wednesday, March 1st. I'm gonna be moving on Saturday, March 4th, get my keys and stuff on Friday. And I'm kind of gonna start like moving stuff over on Friday. But for the most part, I'm going to be doing like my full move on Saturday. Let's go ahead and get started. I have to redo this intro. I went to Home Depot and I got like a bunch of boxes and stuff like that. So I'm going to like prep some of these boxes and just start putting stuff in my bathroom in my boxes right now. Like an hour later, and I basically finished my bathroom. I'm gonna go and move into the kitchen. I'm not gonna take everything out since I'm not moving until Saturday and it's only Wednesday. But for the most part, I wanna have like majority of everything done. So like Friday and Saturday, I could just take my little everyday items up just over to my new apartment. I'm actually shocked at how much shit was in my bathroom. I filled up five boxes and I still have my whole room in my kitchen, so. I'm gonna do my kitchen first though, cause my room is not that much stuff. It's just like my bed and my vanity, which is probably gonna be like a box or two. So we're gonna move to the kitchen. Okay guys, so um, right now I'm just gonna pack my cabinets. I'm just gonna wrap all my bonds, you guys, because my mom is coming over tomorrow. that much progress and i know yes y'all probably still see my tree i never took it down because i'm moving so um but this is what i got done so far i got like half the decorations in my living room done if i didn't say this already i'm gonna do a whole different living room i'm gonna keep these chairs and these side tables and this coffee table but i'm definitely gonna get a whole new couch maybe a new coffee table if if i don't keep that one like i might keep it and sell it but i'm most likely gonna get a new couch and a new coffee table but i kind of want to keep these little lounge chairs like my wall art it's a lot of stuff that i'm gonna keep the same because it's not like i was unhappy with it i basically packed like six boxes so i'll buy like five more tomorrow and pick up like five more that my sister got me i wanted to get like a little bit done today but then tomorrow i'm gonna do like the majority of the packing and then friday i'm just gonna be like finishing up type and then saturday is like have them take everything over there hey guys so today is thursday march 2nd i'm about to go have my first look at my apartment and then i'm gonna go run to buy some more boxes from staples and get some boxes that um my sister got for me i'm gonna do like another half of my apartment today and then tomorrow on friday i'm basically just gonna do the rest and when saturday comes 
then I'm just have the movers move everything. So I'm gonna do a little mini empty apartment tour. So this is just gonna be a quick little look for you guys. So um, yeah, I'm about to head there right now. Three hours later. Okay guys, so um, I actually ended up leaving my camera when I went to go look at my apartment and they kind of rushed me just because I was supposed to do a quick tour. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow when I go back. That's when I'll do like the little mini empty apartment tour. I'm gonna start like packing my kitchen. Like I said, I'm not doing everything like 100% today. Since it's Thursday, I'm really gonna do majority of like my packing tomorrow. So yeah, I kind of want to get like all the stuff that I have in the kitchen done today. And then basically I just have my my nightstands in my room, but I don't know if I'm really even gonna take the stuff out of that because I feel like I could just take them closed. So now I'm just going to empty out the cabinets. I'm honestly kind of stressed though, y'all, because I went to go look at the apartment today for the first time and I realized it's not that much closet space. I have like two walk-in closets, but it's like now one walk-in closet is basically gonna be like storage space and the other one is gonna be my closet. The other one is really big, so it's like, okay, but I don't know because I feel like I have a lot of storage space here and I was just thinking like if only the apartment had one more closet it would be perfect but there's no other storage space but there's a lot of cabinets in the kitchen so I'm thinking I'm basically just have, gonna have to take a bunch of stuff from my closet and just put it in my kitchen cabinets I just don't really like mixing a bunch of different things together yeah it's gonna be different we're gonna just see so yeah <laughs> Unit. The only reason why I'm gonna wait to do the rest is basically because um, I still want to cook between today and tomorrow and I'm not getting everything moved until Saturday so like I said I'm gonna do the most of my packing like tomorrow night the only thing I really have left though is my, is my storage uh, space which is just a big closet and I already know I'm gonna have to throw away like a lot of things because I don't have as much storage in my next apartment and I also have to do my clothes I just have clothes and storage space and like the thing in my kitchen and then like cleaning supplies underneath it's really cold outside and I don't feel like I want to get the rest of the boxes so I'm just gonna do it tomorrow because like I said I really don't have that much left to do i feel like it's probably gonna take me like an hour or two to do the rest but yeah i actually might start packing my clothes yeah no i honestly just want to wait till tomorrow i don't want to do it do stuff today and then like have to live out of a box for another day when i could just pack the rest of my stuff tomorrow my movers are gonna take down my bed and maybe my vanity yeah so right now i'm kind of just stressed about like what i'm gonna do for space like i'm thinking okay obviously i have way more space in the kitchen i feel like i have a lot of closet space here all this stuff in here i'm literally just gonna wrap them up in trash bags since i've been moving from dorm to dorm my entire life um well i guess in my undergrad so usually for everything that's hung up i just take a trash bag and put it on top and then i'm just gonna transfer it and then i'm gonna put my clothes that's in my bed ottoman in a suitcase and i don't really have that many clothes in this ottoman so yeah tomorrow is just gonna be clothes and shoes and storage which i have really big boxes for but that's it for tonight i will continue tomorrow and do the empty apartment tour for you guys and also to just pack the rest of my stuff i feel like i'm getting closer and closer so I'm, i am really happy that i started early and i didn't wait to just do everything all in one day um just because i really did not want to stress myself out hey guys well today is friday march 3rd and i'm officially gonna go and get my keys right now i just left the bank and i'm like five minutes away from my apartment so i'm about to get my keys and then i'm gonna do this empty apartment tour really quickly and i'm super tired but honestly my plan is just to just move start moving quick um today i just want to go to the gym and then tomorrow once the movers move everything over just do like a deep clean of the apartment and be done with it i'm still stressed out because my apartment is not a lot of closet space I'm sitting here thinking like i just kind of been stressing about like how it's gonna work with no closet space kind of mad that there is not a lot of closet space it's crazy because my current apartment that i'm at is not even twenty five hundred dollars a month and that shit is two bedroom two bathroom but my new apartment does have a lot more amenities the walk-in closet and um washing machine and dryer which are like two really big things that 
I want it. Also, I have to think like all this space is to me. I'm not really sharing a space. Technically, I have like a little bit more space, but I personally feel like now I'm super confined to two closets, but really I only have one closet. Like I have one walk-in closet and one little fake storage closet and the storage closet is really not that big. Like I'm gonna show you guys, but it's stressing me out because I'm downside. I'm literally downsizing. My storage space, we have like a really big storage closet. Then I have my mirror and then there's like a little kitchen storage that we have. And I'm like, at this new apartment, there is not a lot of, there's not that many cabinets honestly truly there's not that much storage y'all are gonna see though i'm gonna finish filming when i get there to do a little in-depth empty apartment tour i'm going to do a little empty apartment tour um i just i don't know la is just something else this apartment complex i'm not gonna lie i don't think i see myself living here for too long because i feel like personally i need more space than this apartment has to offer i know myself i kind of wish i was in a two-bedroom so let me do this empty apartment tour and then i'm going to rant this is my balcony this is my basically like the little kitchen area there is the door there is the alarm system this is the kitchen uh i have like a good amount of storage there's a microwave i have like some storage there at top some storage to the side of the stove i'm probably gonna use this for like my hair accessories and tools and stuff like that and i have basically stuff up here i'm gonna put like utensils and plates and stuff like that over here cleaning supplies uh, maybe other little cooking stuff like that. I also have a dishwasher, AC, heater. I have this little corner. If I get a big couch, it only makes sense that the couch goes this way. Um, in this little space right here, I'm probably going to designate this to like a little kitchen area. Coffee table, so on and so forth. And then putting like my TV and stuff like right here. But I'm not going to do my living room until like next week. For the most part, I'm kind of focused on my room. So here's the room. It's pretty big and spacious. My room in my old apartment was actually 10 by 13. This apartment is like a 11 by 12. So it's a bit of a downsize, but I am coming from a two bedroom, two bath. Um, so starting off with my favorite part is this walk-in closet. It's really big. This is where I was telling you guys I'm gonna probably, I'm upgrading in terms of closet space. I have like three different things of closet space. Then um, there's the exit. There's my walk-in closet, a really nice window. Like this room is not that big and I'm kind of upset about it. Like this is why I would advise y'all do not sign a lease without seeing an apartment. But I already signed a lease so it's kind of too late for me to do anything about it. But it's not like I'm completely unhappy. Here is my in-unit washer and dryer which Whoa. is one reason why my rent is probably so expensive but i think my, the rent is worth it <laughs> then i have another walk-in closet which is basically going to be my storage closet i personally wish they put this closet in like the living room or the kitchen or something because i have a lot of like filming equipment lighting equipment and stuff like that that i really don't want to have in my room but it's whatever then I have my bathroom. One thing I don't like, pet peeve about the bathroom, this dryer thing is gonna continue making noise because there's no window in here. So this is like a little ventilation system, but I don't like that. Even when the light is off, you can still hear it. That's actually really annoying. And you have this vanity mirror. I feel like the bathroom looks a little outdated. I honestly like the bathroom mirror. Mirror and lighting is really important for me. This lighting kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like yellow lighting, but it's okay. Um, I could probably set up like a different type of light or something. I think this is more storage for bathroom. And I have basically a lot of space in the bathroom for like my tools and stuff like that. I'm gonna have like all my hair care and makeup stuff in here and also bathroom products and stuff like that. This uh, shower, probably going to change this shower head to something a little bit more updated. I need one of those shower heads that you could customize, so I'm probably gonna switch that. And this doesn't have like a shower door, so I'm gonna have to get a divider, a plastic lighting divider, so that I don't get water on the floor. But I do like that there's enough space for me to do some decoration here. Um, and then there's my toilet. I'm probably gonna do some shelves on top of my toilet or something like that, or maybe some wall art, decorate this up some. So part of me is just upset because um, I thought the room was gonna be bigger. When I saw the floor plan, it said 13 by 11. And when it said 13 by 11, I didn't realize it was accounting for the space that these two closets are taking up. The room itself is actually 12 by 11. I looked at so many one bedroom apartments in LA, especially. 
the big one bedroom apartments out here go for like 2700 plus and why would i want to pay that like how i feel about it is if i'm paying any more than what i'm paying right now which is 2500 dollars a month i should be owning it like why am i why would i pay 2500 dollars a month to something that i don't own i'm basically giving that money just away to live so i don't know i think about it in the long run because it's like i think where is your money going to you know if i own something and i was paying three thousand dollars a month it would be a little bit different which is why my next thing that i want to do is move into a condo so that's why i said i don't see myself living here uh that long just because i feel like i'm limited for space already i don't think it's gonna be too bad like i'm not i don't want y'all to think i'm like super unhappy or nothing like i'm actually very happy because there's a lot of cool amenities here there's a pool a jacuzzi rooftop and there's also a gym so there's a lot of cool amenities my other apartment didn't have a gym this one does so i'm probably gonna cancel my gym membership because the gym here is really nice they have a little business center where they offer like free printing and stuff like that if i need to edit if i need to you know do anything i feel like i could use the business center for like quiet time and stuff like that so i could just get out the house i have this nice little balcony i really do like the balcony i like the lighting in here a lot too like that's my favorite thing the lighting is really like big for me but the one thing i will say so if i had to say my favorite thing about this apartment i love the amenities and i love the lighting my worst thing about this apartment i definitely feel like i'm confined and i have like limited space i didn't realize like with a two bedroom two bath you get a lot more space just because it's two people i guess I don't fucking know. so it's kind of making me wish i did get a two bedroom two bath by myself but the thing is i probably wasn't gonna find a two bedroom two bath with all the amenities that i wanted uh, like walk-in closet and in unit with washer and dryer plus the gym and stuff like that for anything under like $2,800. I was actually torn in between this apartment and a two bedroom, two bath apartment. Coming here and seeing everything, I kind of wish I did the two bedroom, two bath. Then I feel like I wouldn't be as limited for space. But it's okay, because I just feel like this is just, this is going to be my one year to see how it is living by myself, making sure I can live comfortably. I'm trying to live here and make sure I can do everything I want and live comfortably before choosing to spend more money on rent or before choosing to upgrade. I'd rather pay $3,000 towards like a condo, something that I own. Housing especially in california is crazy as hell so if y'all are trying to live by yourselves in california i understand why not everybody could do it you want to get something good you're gonna spend at least eighteen hundred dollars that's not even that good like the best apartments are two thousand dollars and up yeah so that was basically it for this little mini apartment tour okay, i'm gonna stop stress planning right now and i want to say yeah i will continue with the moving out tomorrow i guess I'm about to do the last of my packing, which is emptying out this storage closet and emptying out the cleaning supplies. Tomorrow when the movers come, I'm basically just gonna be throwing stuff away and just taping my boxes together, letting them take stuff out. Yeah, so about to get started with this extra, extra large box because I have a lot of stuff. Oh. I have a lot of stuff in this storage, so. basically just finished packing my storage closet all i have left now is the cleaning supplies underneath my cabinet in the kitchen and also some plates and utensils and basically all like my kitchen supplies and stuff like that i'm gonna take my clothes and basically just put my clothes on like little trash bag things so i could carry them out fast now i'm just going to empty out the ottoman of my bed into some suitcases and i'll basically just do the rest of everything i have to do tomorrow and the rest of the kitchen which is gonna be really fast because most of the stuff in the kitchen is my sisters lovers are gonna come at 10 and i've been looking crazy this whole video but i promise like by the end of this video i might do my hair so i can be like a bad bitch and like show you guys something empty out my ottoman right now and pack my suitcases with clothes because i have clothes in my closet and then i have clothes in my ottoman i'm gonna finish that right now and then finish filming the rest of the move out tomorrow morning <laughs> So guys, after long and hard thinking while packing, I personally do think I regret not getting a two bedroom. If y'all don't know, like I was kind of on the fence about if I should get a two bedroom or if I should get a one bedroom. This one bedroom has shown me I really just wish I got a two bedroom because I'm just stressed about the storage space. I'm not about to be able to keep shit in my crib 
because I'm really just stressed out about this one fucking closet that I have, like this one storage closet that I have. Filled up three suitcases with one ottoman full of clothes, so I still have two sides left. I personally think I'm just gonna do the rest in the morning. I'm basically just gonna pack while these people are taking my bed down and moving my vanity and moving all these boxes because honestly, I'm paying for four hours a time, so I'm like, I'm gonna have time to wake up in the morning and pack some more. I'm kind of tired because I woke up early today and I started packing. I'm happy that I started early because I could not have imagined doing all this shit at once. Like, just doing it day by day is stressing me out separately. <laughs> What's good, guys? Today is Saturday. It's 10 a.m. The movers are here moving things. Um, I'm not really touching much. I'm just finishing up like little last minute things with my clothes. I have my personal assistant here doing my clothes on the hangies. Touching all the essential items. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end off the vlog once I'm done moving out and then I'm just gonna do my part two once I'm moving in and transition into um, furniture shopping and decorating and another like little empty apartment tour. Just moving out. 55 years later, oh my god, my camera is literally about to die. We have finally gotten to my new apartment and I have so much shit, y'all. Like, I'm really not convinced that this apartment is big enough. But yeah, I'm actually about to let them move everything in from the truck. I'm kind of over this vlog. Like, I don't even want to vlog anymore. I'm gonna just This is scary. Oh! surely getting stuff in here um so let me tell you guys what i'm stressed hey, out about right now fuck niggas i'm just playing hey uh so I can have more space on this side for my vanity. I'm gonna put my bed on this wall, but towards the window. If I did put my bed and block the window, I would have more space. I don't wanna do that personally because I'm keeping my LED lights around my bed. I'm probably not gonna LED light my whole room again, but I'm gonna like LED light to where it look like it's glowing again. And I feel like it's not gonna really be able to be super visible if it's against the window. So um, I'm waiting for them to come and set up the vanity so I can really get a better glimpse of how much space I'm gonna have in here. I'm waiting for them to set up my bed. Y'all, these people are $75 an hour so I'm practically gonna be poor by the time I'm done because I also have to pay for my TV um, I'm about to just start unpacking and also I ended up telling them I did not like the lighting in here Lighting is everything to me y'all so for my YouTube videos I'm not making no videos with yellow light They're gonna come and fix the light fixtures and change them to make them bright white Which is gonna make me happy because this mirror is nice. This light is not cute So yeah, they're coming on Monday to fix it. Say hi Yeah, you Everybody tap the bye bye Congratulations to Peyton's new apartment. If you hear that means you here for a reason. Good vibes, good energy, good vibrations, high vibrations. We about to get drunk. You know what I'm saying? We about to vibe out. Like how the hell did you pull up to the motherfucking party and forget the part? Why are you playing with knives? my progress with moving in thus far my plan is to like get a little like stepping stool or something so i could like just go and get some shoes real quick and then as you guys can see i just want to share with y'all my life hack ever since i was in college like i never packed my clothes this is what i would do for my closets i would just wrap them up in plastic bags and um transfer the wads hang clothes to my next closet and my mom put me on a long time ago this is the smartest thing to me because you don't ever have to fold but honestly it was kind of it's sad because i actually want to change my hangers like i want to get like all black velvet hangers because I don't want these cheap hangers. They break so easily. Um, but I work on that, honestly. I'm gonna work on getting the shoe rack. I'm gonna work on getting a lot of things. I'm about to start taking off the bags and stacking up my closet. So the bathroom is probably gonna be the quickest. I've kind of been like lolling at me all day. And also I have to get an extension cord for my vanity. And I'm washing my sheets for my bed because my mattress topper pretty sure got dirty. Like, I don't know why I 
really didn't realize that until like I realized it today. Even though like I've been had shoes stacked up. <coughs> I don't know why it didn't really hit me until today where I'm like damn I think since I'm vlogging it and since y'all can see it it's putting pressure on me to like actually get this shit looking right I was really looking forward to all this closet space and it's just as good as I thought if not better I'm probably gonna move this blanket I'm washing my sheets but I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna show you guys the kitchen so yeah I waited to bust this out it looks so nice and pretty I'm probably gonna get new stuff but I might as well have just stuff with the stuff that I had in my last apartment but yeah I'm gonna get another stove top noodle board I had one but I felt like mine was all beat up and low-key I had a brown one but now I kind of want I want like a darker brown one like you know what's crazy y'all I've really forgotten the word or what these are multiple times today like this is what be high dust to you because why do I not know the name of these oh like, I want to say plates so oh, bad it's like, it's a general word for all of this um but i'm going to now to my bathroom since i did basically pretty good in the kitchen oh yeah i didn't get to show you guys my spices i literally have no more space for anything in here and stuff up here y'all my faded ass almost thought that was a ghost Bruh. i'm about to get started in my bathroom and i think i'm gonna work pretty fast Today is Sunday, so this is gonna be my last day vlogging um, the move in, move out, and the tour. Um, Cause I'm basically just gonna do like my final touches. I'm getting my TV mounted up right now, and I'm gonna go to Target and pick up a couple of things. Last night, I basically fixed everything. Um, so I'm gonna just show you guys like what I got soap this far, and then I'm gonna set up like my bed and put my LED lights around my bed. I might put LED lights around my vanity. I don't know if I said this last night, but after living in my apartment for three years and seeing like the LED lights in the corners and stuff like that, I kind of just got over how they look, if that makes sense. Like, I don't like that you can see LED lights. Like, I think LED lights look better when it just looks more like a glow. Instead of the swivel mount, I actually got a regular mount so that the LED lights behind my TV pop more. Um, and then I'm, I'm gonna actually do a swivel mount in my living room, but I'm gonna explain to you guys how I'm gonna like put everything together because I'm already getting visions in my head. And then I'm gonna get one of those little neon signs that y'all, I don't know. I'm gonna put a little neon sign right here. I don't know if I'm gonna put Bay 10 or Pay because I'm like, my plan is to get a mirror in the corner, the opposite corner of my room over there. And you know, like when I take pictures and stuff, I want it to be like lit in the background, mixed with the LED lights. Like my plan is to get a pink one, and then I'm gonna have blue LED lights. And pink and blue actually looks really, really good together. If you guys like ever put colors together for photography and stuff like that. So I'm gonna leave these bar stools. My plan is to like tape those wires up to stop the LED strip here. My table for my last apartment, but my plan is to get a entire new dining set. I set up some of the same little kitchen designs from my last apartment. I just put my everyday stuff. I usually use a toaster, my air fryer, and my ninja the most. Yeah, I put these candles. This is from my old apartment. My bread box from my old apart apartment. This was actually on my fireplace. Um, I don't have a fireplace, so I was like, I like this design. I'm gonna just keep it. I only have these bottles here because I'm an alcoholic, y'all. <laughs> it's actually some of them right now, Leo. And I just put this here because this was on my bed, but I don't really want it on my bed no more. I don't know. So these, sometimes I'll just be changing my mind. My plan is to put a swivel mounted TV right here. And I'm about to get a dog. And um, I brought my previous dog's dog bed with me um, for my new dog that I'm about to get. So my plan is to get the swivel mounted TV and then have a little doggy area right there. Then over here, these are my suitcases with my clothes and stuff. I have to put them in my bed. I'm gonna do a really big mirror in the corner. And my plan is to get impression vanity shelves on the left and the right or have some wall decoration then i did the same little setup for my previous living room i just left the couch because the couch was just really old and beat up i took the two lounge chairs and i took this uh took this little coffee table um my plan is to keep the centerpiece i might add something else to the table just to have some pizzazz but my my plan is also to to get like a um a sectional couch just because i feel like a sectional couch would look really nice that's my favorite thing about this apartment the natural lighting is just boom 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 like 
to wake up to the beautiful sun. Took the same bathroom design decoration from my previous bathroom. I hope nobody's like, why does bitch didn't get all new shit? Honestly, truly, y'all, decorations are really expensive and moving was expensive. So one thing at a time. Maybe in the future I'll change stuff up, but I I was so in love with my room design and I was so in love with my bathroom design, I didn't want to change it. As y'all can see, everything is the same. Um the only thing that I don't have, these little decorations, they're probably not gonna fit. My plan was to put this picture up either on this wall or this wall and then put like a little shelf because i have these shelves where i had my bongs but i don't think i'm gonna put my bongs up again because i don't know i just feel like they don't flow I did unpack all my stuff i did pretty okay at organizing i have so much stuff you guys like i had to throw so much stuff away and like look at my look at underneath here y'all i'm actually gonna go to marshall's and target to get some organizers so um just finished putting my led lights up and they came out perfect so um yeah i know you guys can see those led lights right there but so the only reason i did that is because in order for me to plug in my vanity i have to get an extension cord so i'm gonna get an extension cord and then i'm gonna get an extension cord cover or a cord cover i don't know if y'all if you ever get your tv mounted and you have like wires they have these things called wire covers so i'm just gonna wire cover to cover the extension cord and the lights well I, honestly i'll probably link the led lights if you guys are interested but it lets me use this uh, app on my phone to control the colors and also to turn it off and on which i love so i don't ever have to do that shit by myself i could just be in bed and be like all right time to go to sleep i am basically just gonna go to target and get a couple things and then i'm gonna come back and basically clean up the rest of the shit in here which is I only have like four more things left. I really just have to do my vanity and I have to put the clothes in my ottoman of my bed. So once I do that, that'll be it for this video. Then I'm going to be filming myself furniture shopping and doing like my little final decorations up to my apartment. Hey you guys, so before I am basically almost done with this video, I'm gonna give you guys one last little show. So I just came back home. I didn't take my camera with me to go shopping. Went to Target. I got this basket for my storage closet. I got two of these baskets. Got some mouthwash. Nice. These match. Oh my god, y'all know I love pink. If you can't tell, pink's my favorite color. Cotton balls, some makeup remover pads for my container. Floss, hider. So this is what I'm gonna put in that little area of my room where the blue lights are showing and they're a little visible. I also got this little organizer for underneath my sink. It's like, my sink is tall, but it's like small. So I feel like this will help me like save some space. I actually got this bookshelf from Target, but I'm not gonna make it until tomorrow. Um, I'm probably just gonna include that in my next video. Today's lesson was I'm never buying no fucking basket from Target again. Cause I paid $35 for these big baskets and I kid y'all not, it's not even fitting much of anything. I really should have just got an organizer shelf. It's big ones with the little cubes that you could pull out. And this one was $15. But these two were $35 each. If I find better ones at Marshall's, I'm probably just gonna return these to Target because they got me fucked up. Okay, y'all, so this is what it's looking like. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this does not look much better to me. Bruh. Um it looks like a little bit better. It didn't really do that much. Like It didn't give me that much more space, I'm not gonna lie, because this whole thing just takes up a lot of space. It just makes it a little bit easier to find my stuff though, so I could just pull them out. I think I'm gonna get like one more basket or like my little to-go bags. If you guys can see, these are like my little to-go bags. Like it's fitting fine. Like it's, I have like a little bit more space, but until it's all come together. All right, you guys, I am obviously clearly dead like look in my eyes look at my eye bags get the liner on my shower i ended up having to cut it but it actually doesn't even look like i cut it so happy about that um there's my bed we have one nice stand for right now but i'm gonna go and get a dresser this week my vanity cleaned everything up it's looking nice and fresh and pretty tomorrow i'm gonna be installing my new bookshelf into 
my walk-in closet for my shoes and my purses. Then I'm also going to be looking for a couch, a sectional couch. Looking into buying a new TV. I have to put all of this stuff in storage, um, except this clock, that's the only thing I'm gonna use, but everything else is gonna go. I'm gonna get a new mirror, some shelves, I'm gonna get a TV. I'm also gonna get a new dining room set. I'm gonna put this nice stand in my room. Yeah, the kitchen stuff is gonna be pretty simple. I'm just gonna get a new board. So I'm gonna basically be starting a new video fresh. So that was it for this video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. This was a lot for me. This was my first move out vlog. I feel like it was jam packed, but I'm happy that I did it. I'm happy with my new apartment, honestly. I, one, one thing I will say is I, over, I was overthinking it a lot. Like I was overthinking it and I thought I wasn't gonna have enough space. I was gonna be able to fit all my stuff. Things were gonna be looking crazy. But honestly, like just having my own space, obviously you have your own space. Like, all this space belongs to me i don't have to share it with someone anymore you know that's a really big 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 thing for me i am trying to film my apartment tour when my apartment is fully furnished but yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video i'm actually super duper happy with my apartment if you guys enjoy what i've shown y'all thus far i've had like a long four days of no sleep but i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my part two of my moving series love you so much bye